So, while I was playing, I found something pretty crazy in this match. Basically, months ago, Lolcat found a secret jar item inside the game. Now, we got absolutely no idea what it does. But somehow, I managed to get it in this match. Now, I will be heading towards Jeff's shop to see what would happen, and I'll also be saving this item, since... Well, Splash made this so only hackers can get it, but in this mode, with the prize candy, we can get it. Now, I don't know what the chances of getting this item are, but I'm pretty sure that it is super low. Right now, if I had any red explosive candy, I swear I would force this thing to eat it and see who will laugh then. Holy cow, dang, this video was made right after the one getting tons of candy in just a match. I, there I was getting tons of bloodroom jacks. You know, you can check it out if you think that I'm lying. Another blood room, Jack. Inside a smoke room. Dang, I'm pretty sure that I'm not lucky. Since some players told me that they encountered Jack more than two times in a single run, I wonder why Love Splash made it less rare. I guess to make rooms look cooler and scare kids, which I agree with him. It was a good idea to make it less rare. Wait, huh, Em? Did I just got the explosive candy and did not die? And I wasn't even full health? Um, let's plash. Thanks, I guess. I don't want to waste revives due to some expired candy. Bad taste making me vomit until I pass out. But that was kind of strange, not gonna lie. Huh, I did press. Eh, hey, bro, my hand freezed for absolutely no reason. Well, I heard a pest behind the wall, so I got scared as heck. But now I remembered one thing. I got a rare item, so I cannot think about the demon lurking me right now.
Okay, no, I think Les Plash is stalking me or something. In no way that you can get these many Bloodroom Jacks in a single match. On floor one, I think I got three. And on this floor, also three. That would be insanely rare. But according to players, it ain't. Also, I was cold as heck. So my finger accidentally pressed the W key. I did not even notice that I have pressed it, bruh. But I ain't dying like this. I'm going to use, um, loss plash admin power to make me revive once again. Okay, now, I really think that I'm being stalked by Lustplash, or Jack just wants to pay me a visit because it's been a while since we have seen each other. Now, I'm pretty sure that the thing wants to make a video with me beating floor two and seeing how every room would look like if they were red, and I really think that that's a pretty good idea. Not gonna lie, the speed up version of songs and scary moments of doors are just cursed. That sounded like if Tom was chasing Jerry, but with a little too much action. Bruh, the candy's loss splash makes her so bad that they makes you want to die. Literally. If you wonder, how did I manage to get here without even activating the things? Hmm. I got absolutely no idea. Just like you guys saw, I somehow appeared here. Now, that does not matter. What matters is the item, right, right? Jeff, hello, my man. It's been years since I have not seen you, and you are still pretty, pretty ugly. Um, mm. M. I found a replica of your item. Do you want to trade for it? M. Mm. Oh, the thing does not care at all. Even though this item is so rare, bruh. He could sell it for 10,000 coins. But the thing thinks that I'm going to scam him or something? Well, if that's how he puts the things, I'm going to start my own Jeff shop. But at floor one, since most players die at door 150, Also, I found a new room. I don't know if it's new, but it's the first time that I'm seeing this large room. 
Maybe all Splash added it in the last update. Or maybe it is in the game, but it's rare to get. I really don't know. If you do, please let me know. This is the room also. These things followed me outside of the map just because I wanted to see how the map looks like. Bruh. If you guys ever think why there are less and less of these little rats, it's because I'm making them go extinct. And if they keep appearing, I'll just take the entire cave down and replace it with a new one. Also at the end of Seek Chase, I found this strange room with a pool full of Seek ink. I got absolutely no idea. When did El Splash added this? But it was just an error, I think since the water in this room is not supposed to be infected, but somehow it was. And also somehow it became normal once again. No idea what happened here. Now, this is just a normal room, it's just that. I was a little bit confused. I'm going to do the smartest thing no one did ever before. Putting the giant seek thing into the jar. Oh yes, will definitely work. Definitely. Um, what could go wrong? Oh, somehow I'm going up. I thought I was going to drown or something, but dang. I jumped right where seek is. Now I got absolutely no idea. How can I put the thing inside the jar? Oh, what I got in my hand? Eh, nothing, nothing. It's just a simple, inoffensive candy. But I wonder what will happen if one of your minions eat it. Or, what if I throw it right at you? <laughs> it's just for, mm, the video. I swear I don't want to do this to you, but I'll do it anyway. Um, mm. If I think for a second Seek is made, wait, not that. I think Seek has the same stuff the candy has, so I don't think it will do anything to him, bruh. I just realized something, guys. When I was searching for the disgusting candy made by Lustplash, it was not there, and I died. And all of my items dropped into the Seek Ink. Meaning, oh, bruh, well, I'll kill Seek and see if I can find them, hopefully. Uh, not kill him, but flush him. Oh, there, my items. They got stuck on an invisible hitbox. Great. Imagine if I did all of this just to not safe the jar inside the rift. That would suck. You guys saw nothing. I, I can't, it won't let me, bruh. So I did all of this for absolutely nothing, nah. Ellis Splash, I'm going to send the 1,000 giggles to your house, man, bruh. Not even the golden rift works. <laughs> 